Good morning. I am going to give you guys a garden tour before it starts storming. I figure I will go ahead and do this garden tour before it gets too late in the day. Um, still not used to squirrels. Oh, and we have roosters. <laughs> um, so let me flip y'all around and show you guys the garden. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start here because I'm standing here. <laughs> this is a tomato of some sort. Not sure the variety because I didn't label it. Such is life. This and this one here, those are both tomatoes. These were suckers that are propagated. Um, they are a Tennessee variety. Then here I have a yum yum pepper that I need to actually pot up. So I shall do that. Um, here is a watermelon that's actually in despair a little bit. Um, I need to go ahead and put this one in a bigger pot as well. This is a stone mountain watermelon. This one, this other trailing one here, this is a petite grass melon. I need to also pot her up. Basically everything on this table, I need to pot up, okay? This is a pepper. This is a Carmen Italian pepper. And then this one over here this is a Mrs. Max Italian tomato. So that's all that's on this table. Looking down here, we have two peppers. This is a sweet banana pepper. I actually got a couple growing. And then on this one, this one is what? What is What are you called? I'm pulling off peppers that are dying because um, we had a lot of rain, y'all. But this one is called a candy cane. And so she got a lot of buds on here. As you can see, I'm pulling off the ones that just, they didn't, they didn't make it. So I'm basically pruning without pruning because they're just coming off. But anyhow, turning it around this way, I have this tomato, these two tomatoes. I have a German Queen and I have a Mr. Stripey. So that's these two. And then coming around here, I have, uh, this pot is full of um, collard greens. And then I planted uh, sprigs of green onion around it. So there's that. Down here, I have two tomatoes, which also reminds me I need to spray because I'm starting to see webbing. That's not good. So I need to come out here and spray. Anywho, this one is called a chocolate sprinkles and they look like this and then they turn a chocolate color and then also it's connected to this big tomato here and this tomato is called a parks whopper inside of here i just planted these two green beans i'm not sure why but yeah i got two green bean plants in here that are basically trellising upward um, I need to pick you because you're rotting. Okay. And so, ooh, I got to make it quick because I got a big cloud coming. This is my zucchini plant. Um, I did some crazy stuff because I actually put a pot in there because the wind kept blowing it over to the side. And I don't like it over to the side. But, yeah. You see? I got zucchinis growing. I got more zucchinis down here, which also reminds me, I need to go ahead and pick you before it gets any bigger, as soon as I can see it. All right. All right, 
zucchini. I need to take this off. But, yep, zucchini. Let me put you over here on the table. Really, with the other ones. Go ahead and pull that off. We don't that in the yard. Um, this trellis situation on the ground. This is a melon. This is a uh, Crenshaw melon that I'm basically just let run wild. I actually have it planted in here with a zucchini because I thought it was a zucchini, but in reality, it wasn't a zucchini. <laughs> and then here, here I have um, a heart of gold cantaloupe and I have another melon. They're not doing the best, but yeah. Um, and that also reminds me, what are those? Do you know what those are? Cause I don't, I need help identifying what those are so that I can get rid of it. Anyhow, pepper plant. This is just a traditional um, bell pepper. So here she is in all her glory. Swing you around here. I have a big uh, mosquito plant. And then here, this is a tamarind that I got from my brother. And I need to pot this up because I feel like it's getting too big. All right, so coming around here, I have another pepper. I'm not sure what variety because this pepper was given to me as a last resort to save it because the owner that originally um, started this pepper was PCSing. If you guys don't know what PCSing is, that means you are military and you are moving. But to me, it looks like a bell pepper. You see, that looks like a bell to me. Um, but yeah, pepper plant here. And so she gave it to me before they PCS to their next duty station. We are stationed here and are not moving anymore. So grateful for that. Um, and then over here, this is actually a cucumber plant. There are, I think two or three. So here's one cucumber. I have big cucumber in here. I have two big cucumbers in here that I need to come and get. I have some little baby ones over there. And then I know that there's more around the back and stuff. So there's that. Swing you this way. I have two um, more pepper plants. I tend to do a lot of companion planting. These are actually gypsy pepper plants. And you can see I got peppers on there, which I'm excited about. I'm excited to try this variety. And then here is a little Naponi. She's struggling a little bit, but she's making it. Um, I have one little baby carrot <laughs> that is really trying. I kept her in here. I didn't get rid of her when I went and did my um, carrot harvest earlier last month. But yeah, little Napoli. Here she is. And then I have two um, green onions here. And then here I have a variety of strawberries, another variety of strawberries. These are the same variety, actually. And I leave these here for the um, I leave these here for the birds so they can leave my stuff alone. Swing you over here. This one looks like it's on its deathbed, but it's really not. It's coming back. It was struggling. So I went ahead and I harvested the tomatoes that were on it, gave it a cut. But this one is called a Biltmore. So I need to put this one in a big pot, in a bigger pot. Swinging you back around. This one and this one are brandy wines. So here, 
This is a brandy wine from Seeds and Such. And then this one over here is a brandy wine from In My Gardener. So there's that. Oop, spider web. Um, this is some seeds that I had started. And I need to pot these up because, baby, they are thriving. It's time for me to get these in the ground. Whew. Uh, but they are varieties of peppers and tomatoes. And then this, these three, one, two, and three. These are just some herbs that I have. Some cilantro. Here, this is... Um, what is this one called? This one is my Paul Robeson. So I am excited about this one. And I have some green onions in here. Look, a little mushroom. This one, this one is called a sunrise sauce. So this is what she looked like. She is doing it fabulous. These four are ones that came from my cell plug. These are four tomatoes that I just potted the other day. And then over here, these are cantaloupe. So I have two cantaloupe in here that I need to start a trellis for because they are already flowering. And I know a lot of people pull the flowers off because they want them to get bigger, but I just let them do what they do. Here is another tomato. This is a Bonnie's Best tomato variety. Uh, she's had better days. She looks a little rough, as you can see here, but she's doing okay. Um, I need to pile her up. She doesn't have um, roots or anything coming out the bottom, but I want to put her in a bigger pot. These two, they in time out. Because one of them I knew was a big pepper, was a, was a hot pepper, but the other one I did not know. And I bit into that thing and it burned like hell. This is a Scotch bonnet that is growing here. And this one, I didn't know the name of what this one was. And then um, I bit into it and realized this thing was like stupid hot. The person that I got it from, the nursery, they said it was sweet. But sweet to them is fire to me. From what I understand, this one is called a cherry bomb. And baby, she burned. over here this one is on its last leg this is just a Roma um, she's being attacked by spider mites and such so it's time to yeah but she's she's uh, putting out new growth and stuff like that so I want to like salvage the new growth but I have to treat her until she like has no more before I propagate. And then I have this, it's a whole bunch of mess. So this is culantro that has gone to seed and I need to just go ahead and get the seeds, but I just haven't. <laughs> Here is basil that's actually like getting super thick. This was actually the first plant that I got. Um, so yeah. This one here is one of my favorites. This is actually spearmint. And when I got it, it was like a quarter of this size. And now Big Mama is big birthing. All right, coming around. This is my guava. I'm excited for my guava, y'all. First time growing guava, and I'm excited for it. And then here is garlic. So 
I got some garlic growing down off in there. And the crazy part is this garlic I had started from some garlic that I got at the grocery store. So I started this garlic like literally from the grocery store. This is my Cubanelle and she's doing great. I've gotten a lot off of her. And then swinging around here, this is a dwarf papaya and she's actually budding, which I'm excited for because I'm excited for the guava. This tub I just emptied yesterday. It was full of cabbage, so we finally harvested the cabbage. It lasted until May, so awesome. This is a lime tree. Um, I don't see any limes. Oh, yes, I do. Look, right here. She got some little baby limes on here. There are more little babies. So I'm excited for that. And then this one is my lemon. She's in a big pot. This pot comes up to my knee and I'm not short. So it looks small, but it's actually pretty big. And as you can see, I got lemons. I'm excited for them to grow. Over here, I have a mango. And then I have another mango right there. I'm waiting on them to get big and start sprouting. Here, I have some um, Marconi peppers. Both of these are Marconi peppers. <laughs> Excuse me. And they do get, they do get pretty big. Um, this is what they look like. Let me zoom y'all out a little bit, but yeah, this is what they look like and they get really, really big. Like you see how big it is now? They'll be like this big. They'll fill my whole palm by the time they're done. I was just pulling off some yellowing leaves. And what I do is with my yellowing leaves, I just put them there and let them just compost in place. Okay. Over here is another um, papaya. This is another papaya. This is the really tall papaya. Um, I just cut, I gave it a haircut so it doesn't look like much. And then I need to come out here and I need to pull up all of this grass and mulch here to make it look pretty. And then I'm probably going to put the smaller one, the dwarf one here, or I might put the dwarf one closer to the house. I'm not sure yet. So I'm walking to the other side of the yard because I have a couple of things on the other side, but y'all see? Get off there's a freaking mosquito okay so this one is also being mangled by spider mites and i have treated her a couple of times but she is also one that i had started from seed this big old thing was started from seed and yeah she is putting out new growth as you can see like up here this is all new growth and then here this is all new growth, but I don't know if y'all can see, she's being mangled by spider mites as well. So I, I need to, I need to treat her as well. But this also might be a situation where I just crop and chop because she's on her last leg. Like, yes, she's given new fruit and she's giving new um new offshoots where i can take you know chops of it and propagate it but the thing is i have extra seeds so i might just start more from seed and just let her rest in peace because she being mangled majorly is aloe who doesn't have aloe? I mean, I got churin. And then here is my corn that became a disaster. Like, <sighs> okay. 
I did not know that you were supposed to plant a lot of corn. And so I planted three corn thinking that they weren't going to survive because of where I live, because it's stupid hot and stupid humid. As y'all can see, I'm like sweating and I ain't doing nothing. I'm just out here giving y'all um, a garden tour. But yeah, they survived, they fruited. And I'm like, I should have planted more. And yeah, cause these here, they on a struggle bus. <laughs> like, look, they on a struggle bus. They have been this length, I mean this size for about a month now. This one is the tallest one, the biggest one that I've gotten. But like, you see how small they are? Like, look at that one. Like this, this is, yeah. It's a situation. But, um, I need to go ahead and take those and just harvest them and see if there's anything in there because I'm pretty sure that they were not uh, pollinated correctly, which is okay because it's trial and error. Next year will be better. I will have a whole patch of corn now that I know I can actually grow it. So you live and learn. <laughs> That's all for my garden tour for May. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will make sure to do a monthly garden tour for you guys. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will check you guys in the next video. Bye.